Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rosa. How are you tonight? Very good, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. How are you, Walter? Ah, uh, teacher, hello. At the, uh, very well, teacher. Excellent. How are you doing, Edward? Hola. Hi, how are you? Fine, <laughs> fine. Thank you. Uh, I see you're trying fine. to change uh, the your mind because you have some things around in Spanish and then you have to come back to us <laughs> in English. Yeah, you have like a mess, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. But this is a good mm. practice. That That is a good practice. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Thank Leslie, you. are you there? Excuse me, Edward. No, um, is is the difficult <laughs> and the practice, the practice, the practice, the practice. Yes, it is. But uh, I vamos. <laughs> <laughs> there we are going. Okay, there we are going. Pushing. Yes, good, excellent. Hello, Leslie. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How is everything going? Nice? Nice teacher. Okay, good. Maria Fernanda, okay, and now he, here she is. Maria Fernanda, how are you doing tonight? Hi, good evening teacher. I'm glad I'm to have you here in the, in the class tonight. Yeah, I know that you do a very big effort. Okay, everyone, here we are. Here we are and we're gonna start uh, in around five minutes. I'm gonna take the attendance to give a little, uh, a little more time for those who hasn't connected yet. Okay, one question, one question. ¿Recibieron el mensaje el día de hoy en, en, el, en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, quiero, quiero que hablemos sobre eso. Eso es parte de los requerimientos para ser aprobados, yes, ¿verdad? Yes. Para ser tomados en cuenta en la próxima eh, matrícula. El asunto es este, que para que puedan realizarlo de la mejor manera, es eh, necesario que no llenen la encuesta aún. Ok, mm -hmm. la vamos a hacer juntos aquí. En, video, en la última videoconferencia vamos a tener un espacio en donde ustedes pueden llenar junto conmigo esa encuesta, ¿ok? Para que no tengamos errores y todo quede debidamente registrado, porque si eso lleva a algún error, no se registra y usted queda reprobado. Entonces, lo mejor es que lo hagamos juntos aquí en pleno, ¿ok? Entendido. I understand, teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Now let's start the class. Let's start the class. I'm going to sh share my, my screen. Just give me one second. Let me see. Okay. There we are. Okay, here we are, guys. This is the video conference number 17, and we are going to start for um Presenting the objective. Do you remember the objective that we said that we described yesterday in yesterday's class? Do you remember? Do you remember? Okay, let me tell you then. The objective for this class is that you to learn to write correctly adjectives and you are going to learn how to write sentences describing with emphasis 
um, some characteristics of people related to accounting, okay? Re with vocabulary related to accounting. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Okay, nuestro objetivo el día de hoy es que ustedes aprendan a escribir los adjetivos de manera correcta, okay? Mm -hmm. Adjectives and sentences using those ad adjectives, okay? Oraciones usando esos adjetivos de forma correcta, okay? Okay, now we are going to make a little accounting vocabulary feedback. Then we are going to do our reading comprehension activity. Then we are having some conversation time and a written activity too in our manuals. And then we are going to dismiss the class. Just give me one moment and we are going to start right now with the feedback, okay? Let me show you this. Do you remember what accounting is? Can you tell me what accounting is? Let's see, um, Elvia, hello. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. <laughs> I'm glad to see you tonight. Okay. Yesterday we were studying about accounting, okay? And we learned some words related to accounting. But the first thing that we have to understand what it is is accounting, right? So what is accounting? Can you read please the concept of accounting, Elvia? The accounting is? Yes. The process of planning, recording, analyzing, and interpreting financial information. Thank you very much, Elvia. So, they're saying that accounting is a process, right? It's a process. It means it has steps. First step, second step, right? What are the steps? What are the steps? Ah, the first step will be planning, right? Planning. The next step, what would it be, Rosa? Yeah. The, the second step, the first one was planning, okay? That's and awesome. here we have? Planning is the... Um, here? Uh, uh, elaboration of the, um, the reports. Okay, yes, correct. Recording, right? Recording. It means to gather the information, to make... Um, to make a trace, to follow, to follow all those processes about mm -hmm. money, right? Where the money goes, where the money comes from. So you are gathering the information, you are elaborating, right? You are making, writing the report. Good. Okay. Now, what about the next Allow step? Analyzing, yes. Analyzing is the third step. Analyzing. What do you think it could be analyzing? Can you define that step? Analyzing the, the finance, the finances, uh, the money, the company. Okay, good. Excellent. You have to see on the reports the information that the accountant is presenting, right? You have to analyze that uh, there in the reports, okay? There in the reports, you are going to see the data and after seeing the numbers that you, they are showing, then you go to the next step. What is the next step? interpreting okay interpreting okay. interpreting means that you have to translate right you have to translate that information into actions 
Okay. You have to translate that information, accounting information, into actions. Now let's think about financial reports because this is financial information and they are in reports. What kind of reports do they exist? We saw some yesterday. Do you remember? Do you remember the types of financial statements? I, I, I think uh, balance sheet. Yes, correct. Balance sheet. Excellent. Another one? Definitely uh, yours, uh, balance sheet. Uh, yes, the balance sheet has those resources. It shows the resources of the company. It means that it contains the assets, liabilities, the owner's quality, right? Do you remember that? Okay, then. Let's see, what other type of financial statement did we study yesterday? What other type of financial statement did we study yesterday? Let me go to the next slide for you to remember. We said that the financial statements are written reports, yes? What kind? Do we have what types? Ah, then we have the one that you said before, balance sheet, right? This is one of those. Now we have cash flow statement, cash flow statement. We have income statements, income statements, and we have the equity statement, okay? Do you remember what do they contain? Do you remember what each of them, each of them contains? Do you remember? For example, what can we see in the cash flow statement? What can we see in the cash flow statement? Cash flows reports reports the change in in retirement uh, earnings of company during the stay period. Are you sure, guys? What do you think? What do you think? No, I think. No. Uh, is a report on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash. Is operating, investing, and financing activities. Correct. So it contains, we have here, financing, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> financing activities, financing activities, or financial activities, right? Financing activities. What kind of financing activities? Uh, they say... They said they're investing, operating. We can add another one, borrowing, borrowing the money, right? Go to the bank and get a loan, it's borrowing the money. And also the bank transactions are there in the, in the cash flow because there we have deposits and we have withdrawals, okay? Withdrawals and deposits in the bank transactions. Okay, now let's think about what does the equity equity uh, statement contain? What does it contain? Uh-huh. It contains, look, retain earnings. The equity uh, statement contains that retain earnings. It means that there is money in there that remains after, after um, distribute the shares, after giving the profits to every shareholder, okay? O sea que después de que se ha dividido la ganancia o lo que le corresponde a cada accionista, hay un remanente ahí, ¿verdad? 
quedan las retenciones, right? Quedan retained earnings, retained earnings. Mm -hmm. And this money becomes, becomes part of the capital, okay? Part of the capital. Or maybe it becomes, it becomes like an insurance, right? Insurance or some, some, um, unexpected expenses, okay? You can retain that money, but that's for decisions of everyone, of every owner in the company. Okay, now, what do you think it's fixed? Fixed. Fixed. Do you see this word down here? Fixed. Fixed is the opposite of variable, right? Fixed, 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 and variable. Fijo y variable. You can add these words. These are adjectives, okay? And you can add this word to any of these other words. For example, we have fixed expenses, right? Do you remember expenses where it is? Here it is, fixed expenses, right? We can say variable incomes, right? Variable assets, variable liabilities, okay? Then we can say fixed or vari variable. It means fixed, they don't change. They remain the same always. They don't change. Variable, it means that in this month, we use it. And the next month, maybe we don't, okay? We don't have that. We don't use that. So it's variable, variable. It can be today one thing and tomorrow a different thing, okay? Correct? Any question about this? Any question about this? No. Any opinion? Who of you likes accounting? Who of you likes accounting? Do you like accounting, uh, Leslie? I think teacher, uh, they are money flows. Okay, yes, the money flows, that's accounting, yes. But uh, the question is, if you like it, do you like accounting or don't you like accounting? What about you, Francisco? Do you like accounting? Not that much. No, not much. <laughs> okay, good. That's valid. Other areas. Excuse me? Uh, I like uh, other areas. Okay, good. Not numbers. Or not in this financial numbers. No. <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, let's see. Walter, do you like accounting? Uh, my great teacher, uh, uh, and vocabulary in in the accounting, financing, cash flow, uh, I know is uh, 
no lo tratamos mucho en la compañía, me cuesta un poco entenderlo. Ok, ok. Como, como es, ajá, me cuesta un poco. Técnico. Para poder hacer un ajá. En, en, en todo lo anterior sí, pero en este me está costando un poquito para lograr entenderlo. ¿no? Yes, para I poder understand. dar, como digamos, una explicación. Oh, oh, yes. Ok, sure, no problem. This is valid. This is for you to have an idea. And maybe someone anytime is going to ask in your company. Maybe in your company, your current job, or, or maybe in a different job um, in the future, right? Maybe you're going to use this vocabulary to uh, when you read an article on the newspaper, or maybe you are going to listen to this vocabulary on the news, right? And then now you are going to know what they are talking about, okay? What they are talking about. This is important for us that because we are professional people, we um, are in different fields, but this is kind of related, okay? This is kind of related. Now let's think about our own accounting, our own accounting, okay? Our income, just let me get one. Okay, let me get this, that's right. Okay, our own accounting. Okay, then let's make our own vocabulary. Okay, things that we use every day. For example, this very important word, budget. Budget is all the resources, I mean, money that you have available to pay for the services that you receive and the products that you can buy, okay? So in the budget, you will see that your incomes, okay, are more, okay, than the outcomes, correct? Yes, incomes. I cannot spend more money. I cannot spend more money. I cannot spend more money. Everyone, everyone is listening to me? Is it okay? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Now, I cannot spend more money if I don't have more, okay? If I don't earn more. Okay, someone is sending something. Okay, okay, no problem, Carlos. Now, let's see. Usually, we receive a monthly, do you remember this? Salary, okay? We receive a monthly salary, correct? That's our income, okay? That's our income. Yes. For example, if you rent a room from your house, okay, a room from you, your house, that's income too, right? Rent, rent, uh, rent, I'm sorry, renting a room from my house, That's income too, because it's more money that I receive, right? That's income because it's money that I receive, extra money, right? Extra from my salary. I have my salary, but I receive a rent, okay? Now, let me get, because someone is writing here. Someone is sending a text. Give me one moment, please. This girl is having trouble. 
Okay. But I remember that Maria Fernanda was here already, right? Is Maria Fernanda here? Oh, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, Maria Fernanda, thank you. I was answering because at this moment it shows the notification. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't say it on time. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance to continue, okay? I'm going to take the attendance to continue. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present, teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present, teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Hi, good evening. Okay, good evening. let's restart the class. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't say your name. No, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I take a call of my work. Okay, no problem. But I saw I I saw you there. Okay, and I checked you in. Okay. There you are. Okay, guys, let's continue with this. We were just making a feedback from yesterday. I, I know this is kind of a difficult um, topic because we are not familiar, fam, uh, familiar with this uh, vocabulary, but it's very important for us to cover this topic because maybe on the news, you are going to listen to this vocabulary and now you are going to know what they are talking about. Or maybe now that uh, the Congress is having these meetings, right? Uh, then you are going to know some things like the bonds, like the um, letters and setes, right? They, they say that, so those are bonds. And we are going to learn some words that they are going to help us to understand news, for example, maybe later in your job you are going to be responsible for reading a kind of report that get that contain maybe one of these words now you are going to know what this is about okay so let's try to finish this part let's try to finish this part and after that i'm going to send a link and you are going to uh do an exercise of reading comprehension okay just let me finish this part about, about our own accounting, our own accounting, okay? I'm going to ask a question. Do you spend more money than 
your salary. Oh, God. Okay. Do you spend more money than your salary? Do you? What do tell. you think? We Are can you? Do it. Okay, correct. We have to have a balance, right? We have to have a balance because we cannot have more outcomes than incomes, right? It's not possible to survive like that. We're going to have debt. Oh, okay, and these debts in accounting uh, accounting are called liabilities. Okay, liabilities. Then you have to go and ask for a loan. Okay, then you have to go and ask for a loan to to accomplish. Okay, to accomplish your responsibilities or financial responsibilities, correct? You see? Have you ever done a budget? Do you do a monthly budget? Do you do a monthly budget? I'm going to write the question. Do you do or make or prepare or analyze a monthly budget? Do you? For example, Sylvia. Sylvia, do you have a monthly budget? We cannot hear you, Sylvia. I have a monthly budget. Do you? Okay. Okay, do you have a monthly budget, Elvia? I have. Uh huh. I do. Okay, yes. Monthly. Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. Correct. Now, mm, what do you include in your family budget? What do you include in your family budget? Mm. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Elvia. Now let's think. Sandra, what do you include in your family budget? Um. Food. Okay. Food. Um, education. Education. Okay. Um, no, doctor. Okay. In medicines, yes. let's say, right? In medicine, yes. Okay. Um, how do you say paseos? Uh, you can say fun, okay. Um, or entertainment also, entertainment. Clothes, shoes. Okay, clothes, thank you. Shoes, very good. And now, do you, uh, let's see, Angeli, do you 
consider, do you consider savings in your budget? Do you consider savings in your budget? Uh, teacher, I don't know what is the meaning of savings. Savings is the, the money that you retain, that you take to the bank and make a deposit and have it and reserved in your bank account. La ahorro. Correct. Uh, yes, it's very important. Okay, so, but do you do it? <laughs> uh -huh, we got you. <laughs> okay, then, what do you think, guys? Is it important to consider savings in your budget? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, it's very important. It's very important, yes. Uh, can you tell me why? Give me reasons. Give me reasons. Teacher. Uh huh. That the theory, the, theory, theory, theory uh -huh. says that we have to save thirty percent about our salary. That we have to save. We have to save thirty percent. Oh my God, 30%, yeah. 30% of your salary. This is to have a healthy financial situation, right? Yeah, uh -huh. but the situation is that we have to cover all uh, in common, out common, sorry, uh, with our salary. Yes, but you're right. The, the, the reason that we have to save mm -hmm. is because maybe we can need to to buy medicine to mm -hmm. or another thing in okay. our family. Yes, you're right. So, what do you think, Walter? Do you consider savings in your budget? Is that important? Yes, teacher, it's important. Uh, okay. My case and my family. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and saving. Mm -hmm. And we are saving uh, my wife uh, and me. Uh -huh. uh, 20, 20, 25 a month. Okay, so you have and like salary. a program thing. Okay. okay, then <laughs> we are going to say this in a very, um, let's see, funny way. Sometimes we can save, we don't have that habit, right? And we always say that, say that we go <laughs> coil broken, right? <laughs> 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 let's say this mix right this is a mix and it's funny right so coyote broken coyote eaten right <laughs> okay this is just for fun okay <laughs> but sometimes it becomes a reality right it becomes a reality so now we know congrats congrats walter <laughs> <laughs> okay so these are words that we are usually using when we talk about our money, right? Our money. You make deposits, you make withdraw, maybe you need for loans, okay? You need loans um, from a bank and you go to have some bank transactions. You use a thing that we call ATM, right? Where do you get your money? In an ATM, right? Automatic teller machine, right? Automatic teller machine. So we use an ATM to withdraw our money, okay? To take it out from our accounts when they 
uh, when they deposit your salary, you go and withdraw your salary from an ATM. Do you use a debit card? Okay, with a debit card or with a credit card, okay? There you go. Now you see that we knew a lot of vocabulary, right? From accounting. This is from accounting. So it's, maybe we don't know the technical thing because we are not accountants, but we use accounting every day. We are counting and counting, right? Money. If we can afford something, I'm going to give you these two verbs, okay? These two verbs are afford. Uh, I don't remember, afford. Something is affordable. If you can pay it, right? Affordable is the adjective. Afford is the verb, okay? La capacidad, right? De poder pagar, afford, okay? La capacidad de poder pagar. Can you afford buying a house? Can you afford a house? Can you afford buying a house? Okay, then you have to consider your incomes, right? Then you have to consider your incomes. And if you need a loan, okay, from a bank, correct? You consider to go and have a loan from a bank. Then you think about the installments, okay? Las cuotas, right? We think about the installments. Yeah, if they are monthly, if I am and the possibility to afford this loan, okay? If I can afford this purchase, correct? Now let's think about the adjectives. This was just to remember some some vocabulary from accounting. Now let's go to the next thing. Teacher. Tell me. Will you tell me please if the this word afford mm -hmm. you told us it is capacity to pay? Yes. Talking about accounting. Yes. For example, you can say if you um if that is investment or if that purchase or that company can make that purchase has enough resources to get, for example, those resources, maybe a building, a new building, can they afford that? Can they afford that, that purchase? Do they have enough money to buy that building? So that's the meaning of afford, afford the capacity, okay. if they have the right amount to uh, concrete the, the purchase, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Any other question? Any other question? No, teacher. Okay. Now, we're going to continue with this, with the adjectives. Do you remember that we said that an adjective is a word that describes a thing, animal or, per or person. For example, you can say, uh, my brother is tall, right? We could uh, write that. For example, I'm describing, I'm describing my brother, right? And I'm using adjectives. Let's see, for example, my brother is tall. What is the adjective here? Describing, right? Tall, correct? Now let's think about his behavior. His behavior. Maybe my brother and the negative behavior is selfish. 
Okay. Selfish. <laughs> and good Salvadorian, cutarra, right? <laughs> do, you, do you know what cutarra is? <laughs> no? Mm -hmm. Eh, codo. Yay. Yeah, I, that. I, I've never heard this word. Before. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, Where yeah. are you from? Are you from El Salvador? Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Proudly, I am Salvadorian, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, selfish means that he doesn't like to share his things. He doesn't like to uh, share anything that he possess with anyone. Selfish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Selfish. Mm -hmm. Can you give me another example describing a person of your family? My brother is uh, intelligent. Excellent. Okay. My sister is friendly. Excellent. Friendlier than my brother. Friend, okay, then more friendly, okay? More friendly. Yes, more friendly than my, my brother. brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you see some adjectives, adjectives. There are some adjectives that they are independent. They don't come from another word. They don't come from another word. But let's see some good adjectives. Let's think about good adjectives. Yesterday, we were talking about an accountant. Do you remember what we say? How can, uh, I'm sorry, how is an accountant like? How is an accountant like? Do you remember? We say honest, loyal. Mm -hmm. What else did we, did we say? Discipline. Uh-huh. Responsible. Responsible. Yeah, responsible. Even the you write or type, I'm sorry, let me get here. Responsible in English. We write it with an I, right? Responsible. But we don't say responsible. We say responsible as in Spanish, right? Responsible. Okay. Responsible. Yes, responsible. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we have to spell it with an I, okay? Remember that. Okay, then. Now, we said, we said that when we want to make an emphasis, we need two words. What words did we study studied yesterday? Do you remember? Do you remember the words? Yes. To emphasize? Uh -huh. So and such. How Excellent. to use so and such. Excellent. Correct. I see you are such great students there you are yes you are okay now we have so and such uh when do we use so and when do we use such do you remember when do we use so and when do we use such do you remember yes For example, here in this sentences that we have. Okay, what do you think? Oh, one second. What do you think it could be? This, the first sentence using or emphasizing that he is very tall, really tall. Uh huh. So or such? Such, teacher. Such. Such like this? Okay, let's go back to the, to the grammar and let's think. We use so with an adjective, okay? We use so 
with an adjective. So in this case, we use so. And we can replace this word so with really, very tall. Okay, he is taller than the average, right? He's taller than the average. So I want to emphasize that my brother is very tall, okay? For sure he is tall. So I'm going to use this word, so, okay? Now let's think about if my brother is selfish and I want to say, but and the extremely, in the extremely way of selfish, what word do we use? Do I use so or do I use such? We have an adjective here. What do we use? Excellent. So, there you are. What about Rosa's brother? So is so intelligent. Excellent. Now, what about um, Wilfredo's sister? Can we add here such? Can we add so? We are going to use so, okay? We are going to use so. Why? Because we are not adding any, any noun. We are not adding any noun. Okay. Now, teacher, excuse me. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Tell me. We are going to use so uh -huh. if we are talking about uh, an adjective yes. or, or when we are describing another uh, people or another or whatever thing. Correct. We are going to use so when we describe with an adjective. With an adjective. We are not describing with an adjective and a noun when we use so. Now let's let me go. Let me go to the next. And you are going to see the difference here. Just let me erase this first. Okay. And let me go over here for you to realize about this thing. Now you are going to see the difference, okay? Now you are going to see the difference. Do you see the difference here? Can you please read the first sentence, Angeli? Coffee is so good. Okay, what do we have here? We have an adjective, okay? Now let's read the next one. Walter, can you read the second sentence, please? Mm, this is such good coffee. Okay. Do you see the difference here? Can someone explain something here? Do you notice something? What do you notice here? What do you notice? Here we are using an adjective. What are we using after such? An adjective, but it has a noun too, okay? It has a noun too. This is kind of more, more specific, right? This is kind of more specific, such. You get it? For example, I say, coffee is so good. All coffee, every coffee, any coffee, okay? Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. let, let me if uh, let me try if I, I, I'm right. Okay. If I talking about food, for example, may I say, uh, pollo campero is so good. Uh-huh, okay. But but if I if if I talk, um, I don't know. Uh, this is um, so good. I I have to continue talking about pollo campero. This is such good. 
or, mm. or what let me you... let me understand let me understand correctly i'm not gonna write the trademark but i'm going to say about chicken fried chicken oh, okay oh, okay okay fried chicken oh just let me get in because i don't have the text box here now i'm i open a text box and i can say chicken right or fried chicken let's say fried chicken better okay fried chicken is so good okay 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 but now let's think about that you don't care you don't care what chicken we're talking about right but maybe we're uh, having dinner tonight maybe we're having dinner tonight and you say this chicken this chicken okay um, then you say you want to refer this chicken right so you are gonna say this is such good chicken okay this is such good chicken this is a specific right maybe we go sure. to the fright i'm sorry yeah go ahead uh sorry 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 um in this case um i think um so is for more general yes. and such is for specific it's more specific yes yes it, we could say that at this level, okay? At this level. Later, you are going to learn something, uh, some other uses, okay? Some other uses. But in this point, yes, that's correct. In this point, yes, it is. Okay? Hey, thanks. Good. So, for example, we say fried chicken is so good, but maybe we go to the fried chicken restaurant and then we are saying at that moment, okay, that you like that restaurant, right? You like going to that restaurant to have that chicken, right? So we could say this is such, we could say such a good restaurant, right? Talking about the fried chicken restaurant. Okay. Got it? Okay. Do you get this? Mm -hmm. Let's see other example. Let me erase. Let me erase. Let me go to the next example. And let's talk about my boss. Okay. Let's talk about my boss. And you want to say that he's a very good boss and he's so kind. Maybe he's always uh, thinking about the employees, right? So um, he has manners to treat well the employees. And you want to say that, okay? But you don't want to say just in a way, oh, he's kind. Mm, it's so simple, right? So we want to say this with emphasis. So we say... My boss is so kind, okay? My boss is so kind. You see? So plus the adjective, so kind. You get it? My boss is so kind, okay? Now let's think, how can we say this in a different way? Being more specific, okay, being more specific, we say, Mr. Pudge is my, my boss, okay? Mr. Pudge is such a kind boss, okay? Now, this is more specific because I am referring to Mr. Pudge, okay? Mr. Pudge. So, Mr. Pudge is such a kind bo boss. Here we have the adjective and we have the noun. What is the noun here? Boss. Okay, now let's see the next example. And let's talk about olive oil. Okay, let's talk about oil, oil, I'm sorry, olive oil. Do you like olive oil, by the way? Do you like oil, olive oil? Olive oil? Do you like that? I you. I like it's oil. olive oil. oil. Okay, olive. then. <laughs> okay, why do you like that? Oh, because olive oil is so healthy, right? Olive oil is so healthy. 
it helps your health, right? So you can say, olive oil is so healthy. Let's say this in a different way, making, making a more specific emphasis, okay? And then we say, can you read this, Rosa, please? Olive oil is such a healthy option. Okay, olive oil is such a healthy option. Olive oil is such a healthy option, okay? What is the noun here? What is the noun and what is the adjective? What is the noun? You see, such plus noun. Ah, we have such and we have adjective and a noun. So this is the noun, okay? Option. Option is the noun. Here is not olive oil. Here is not olive oil. Olive oil is in the first sentence, right? Isn't it? Okay, then if it is in this order, then we are going to use the adjective after so, okay? After so, we are going to use an adjective. What is the adjective here? Healthy. healthy okay healthy mm -hmm. now let's see another example now you are going to uh see this i'm going to give you uh some seconds What do you notice here? What do you notice? Who are we talking about? We are talking about? Nice, nice. Who, who are we talking about? Maria. We are talking about Maria, right? We are talking about Maria. So. What's Maria? It's a girl's name, right? It's a woman's name. So let's see what they're saying about Maria. They are describing how Maria was, okay? Was like, so Maria was so nice. It means that she was kind, right? She was kind. She was happy. Uh, she was good to that people or to those persons. So we, we could um, think about that. So can you read num uh, this sentence, Walter, please? The first one. Uh, Maria was so nice. Okay, Maria was so nice. Maria was so nice. In English, we don't use this tildes, okay? Okay? We don't have those symbols. We don't have tildes, okay? The accent is not graphic, okay? The accent is not graphic in English. So we don't use this. I'm going to erase it and change it for you to know. This is FYI. So... Maria was so nice. So it's the same when we talk in past tense, right? Isn't it? Okay, then Maria was in the past tense, so nice. Now let's think about saying that thing, but in a different way and more specific. Okay, more specific. Let's see. Can you read the other sentence, please, Rita? Yes, teacher. Maria was such a nice girl. Excellent. What do you think they are saying about Maria? Uh, it's a uh, compare with other girls. Do, do you think that they are comparing? Here they are describing, okay? They are describing a characteristic, but they are doing this with emphasis, okay? okay? They are not comparing, Rita. They are saying this with emphasis. Okay. Emphasizing the characteristic. And that characteristic is that 
she was a really nice girl, okay? okay. You, can, you can replace so for really or for very, okay? Very or really. If you can do that, then you can use better so, okay? So, making emphasis, remember that. Now let's go and see another example. And you were going to tell me, so let's see. Read it. We are describing, right? We are describing things, a person. We are describing, at the moment, we haven't described any animal, right? Any animal. So you are going to give me one example later. Uh -huh. Is this sentence in present or is this sentence in past tense? This sentence is in past time. And past tense, okay. Past tense, but sorry. Correct. What is the verb here? Spoke. Spoke. In the... present, uh -huh. in present is speak. Correct. Speak, spoke. Okay, excellent. So now, can you please read this sentence? Let's see, Silvia, are you there? Can you read this sentence, please, Sylvia? Excuse me, Sylvia? Can you please read this sentence? No. We can barely hear I'm you. Sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Sylvia, please fix the thing about the audio. Now let's see Leslie. Leslie, can you please read this sentence? <laughs> Only read, teacher. Yes, please. The secretary, the secretary spoke so well. Excellent. Now, can we say this in a different way? Let's go and see, Francisco. Can you please read next sentence? The secretary spoke good Okay, then here we are more specific. Do you see that? And the first, and the first we say that she spoke so well, but we don't know what she said or what she did really, okay? But we know that she spoke so well. Maybe the people who is listening to the, to the person who's talking, they know what they're talking about. But in this other case, in this other case, the next one, using such and a noun, we are more specific, right? And we are giving some more information. We are using the language that this person is speaking well, right? Or spoke well. So let's see, the secretary spoke such good Chinese. Such good Chinese. Imagine that maybe she was a very good Salvadorian, right? And she knows Chinese too. She knows Chinese. So let's see another example. What do you think? Maybe tonight Sandra received a bouquet, right? Received a bouquet. And Angeli says, oh, roses are so beautiful, right? But it's better and Sandra will feel more excited if Angeli say, says, those are such some beautiful roses, right? 
giving more emphasis and she will feel more excited and so well that she received that bouquet of roses, right? You get it? You get the idea using so and such? Do you get it? Correct? Okay. Now, we are moving to the to another example, okay? Ah, let's talk about accounting. Let's talk about accounting. Let's see. What can you say about the salary? Huh? Can you read that one, the first one, Edward, please? Okay, the salary they pay is so low. Okay, so low. It means that it's a small amount of money, right? It's a small amount of money. You can say this, the salary they pay the company or another company, a different company, then you can say the salary they pay is so low, emphasizing the small amount of money. Right now, let's think about this question. We can use so and such in different situations. You can use them in questions. You can use those words in sentences. The sentences can be negative, can be positive. They can be in past tense or any tense. They can be in the present tense, okay? So you can use so and such Anytime that it goes in companion, right, of an adjective, okay, or a noun. You get it? An adjective or a noun, correct? But this noun, if you see salary, has another word that it is modifying this or describing more specifically this salary and it says small salary small salary we will just use low too instead of small and it will be almost the same thing right such a low salary and it is the same low salary small salary okay now can you give me an example, please? Using so, yeah. talking about money. Money. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, could be the blue t-shirt uh -huh. is so expensive. Good. The blue t-shirt t-shirt. T-shirt. Uh-huh. Is it's so, so expensive. expensive. Excellent. <laughs> there you are. Excellent. So expensive. Can we say this in a different way using such an a noun? Can we do it? Let's change that one. Mm -hmm. That is a, or the blue, let's say, okay, th that is a, that is such a expensive t-shirt, okay? Okay, that is okay. such, oh, I have a mistake here. Do you see what is missing? What letter is missing here? Can you tell me? Letter? And. Yes. And. Correct. N, N. 
And yes, correct. So that is such an expensive teacher, t-shirt. We could say also instead of that, specifying the blue one, okay? The blue one is such an expensive t-shirt, okay? Now, can you um, make a sentence talking about a book? Let's describe a book. Meet the chair. Okay, go ahead. The book is so interesting. Excellent. The book is so interesting. Okay. Is there another way to say using such and a noun using the information about a book or the interesting book? What do you think? What do you think? Let's try. Let's make Peter. a try. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is such an interesting book. Excellent. That is such an interesting book. Good. There you are. Now you get the idea. Now you get the idea. Do you have any question about this? Do you have any question about this? No questions? Okay, now then we are going to see another, okay? Let's see another example. This is a question, okay? This is a question and we are using accounting vocabulary, right? You see? Now, Let's read the first sentence. Can you read it, please, Wilfred? The first? Yes, the first one. How can a company survive with profit so reduced? reduced? Okay, how can a company, okay. Where is the adjective here? What are they asking? What are re they requesting? They are talking about something very little. Yeah, little in comparison from the last period, right? And the last period, because it's kind of a comparison, okay? It's kind of a comparison. Okay, there you are. How can a company survive with profit then? So, and the adjective, reduced reduced okay now let's see the sentence using such and a noun it's almost the same idea right it's almost the same idea we could say they are similar but with a different emphasis right Can you please read that, Sandra? This sentence? Oh, can a company survive with shoes limited profit? Okay, what is missing here? What is missing? It's a question, so we need the question mark. 
Okay. So let's see. What is the noun here that it goes after such? Profit. Limited. Okay. Limited is the adjective. Okay. Adjective. Oh, the noun. The noun. And the noun okay. is profit. But yes, it's correct because if after such, you can not only use um, an adjective, you have to use an adjective and the noun. Okay, we could also add here, right? Plus adjective and noun, okay? Because they are together or they are describing only one thing, right? One thing, such a uh, adjective and noun, right? Plus adjective and noun. Okay, do you have any question at the moment, Fausto? Do you have any question? Carla, Maria Fernanda. Are we okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm going to send a link on your uh, on the chat, okay? I'm going to send a link on the chat right now. I'm going to leave this. And you are going to read that first paragraph of the article. It's about El Salvador. And you are going to describe the article, not El Salvador. You are going to describe the article, okay? If the article is, um, let's say, long, short or if it is interesting or if it is disgusting if it is true or if it is uh, if it is alive for example you can use different adjectives to describe the article okay i'm sending it at this moment one second Oh, I closed it. There it is. One moment, it's loading. Maybe I can send it for, uh, from the chat here. It will be better. Okay, let's see. Maybe you can access from here. Let's see. Yes, I think you could access from there. Okay. Now you are going to read it in pairs. Okay. So I'm going to break this room in groups. Did you receive the invitation already? Did, did you receive the invitation yet? 
Not yet. We are going to receive it. No. In our cell phone, teacher. Uh, no. Uh, the link is on the chat. Open the chat oh, okay. here in Zoom, oh, okay. and I'm going to create the rooms, okay? I'm going to break out the rooms. Okay. So you didn't receive the invitation, right? It's kind of slow, my system, tonight. One moment. Please tell me if you receive it. Okay, I now I know. Okay. You see. Didn't you? Mm, no, the link. The link is on the chat. Go to the chat. But I don't Here in Zoom. Anything. Here in Zoom. I can see a, a, a break from teacher in the, in the computer. Can't you? Yeah, something's happening. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Okay, now you received it, okay. I'll try to send it through WhatsApp. Did you receive it, Angeli? Uh, in WhatsApp, yes. Okay. Now it's only the first, the first paragraph. Okay. It's only the first paragraph. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Did you receive the invitation to join? Angeli, did you receive the invitation to join to the to the Not room? No. Okay. Something's happening. Just give me one second, and I'm gonna try again. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, because only you and and Carlos didn't receive it, right? So I'm going to send Carlos to number six, and I will send you to number five. Okay. Okay. Is it okay now? Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Okay. I think no. Only okay, the first we... paragraph. Which one, teacher? Only the first paragraph. About El Salvador, yeah, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, read it. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. Okay, it's your turn, Sandra. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. The first paragraph. Okay. In the Salvador, right? Yes. Country of the Central America. El Salvador is the smaller and most densely popular. Of the seven Central American countries, despite having later lived land in traditional was an agricultural country 
heaven depend upon coffee export by in the end of the 12th century Humber the service sector harm come to the money dominate the economy the capital is San Salvador okay Hello. Okay, uh, El Salvador, country of, Amer of Central America. El Salvador is the smallest and most densely populated of seven Central American countries. Despite having little level land, it traditionally was an agricultural country heavily dependent upon coffee exports by the end of the 20th century. However, the service sex sector had come to dominate the economy, the capital in San Salvador. Okay. Okay. Okay, really. Uh oh, she got disconnected. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Yay. Ah, Carla Marielos is over there. She's trying to get into one second. I think everyone is having trouble with the internet tonight. Sí. Me sale. Tiene una conexión inestable. Yo, mm. Okay. Yes, me too. So it was very slow to move to poor Carla because she has been moved. I'm going to move her to room five, but I don't see uh, maybe power went out, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Sandra, so at this moment, let's see. Oh, poor girl. Okay, it is room two here. There we go. Maybe there she is coming. Nope. I assign her to this room again. Okay. She couldn't. Okay, there she is. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I don't know what happened, but it took me out. Yeah, and we were like, oh, flushed. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it disappeared. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. What do you think about the article? What can you say about the article? Describe the article. Okay, Sandra, describe the article. Okay, I'm going to leave this room and I'm going to another group. Meanwhile, please keep working in that, okay? Describing using so and such, at least four sentences, okay? At least four sentences describing the article. Okay, see you.
Okay, see you. Agricultura, country. Uh -huh. Agricultura. Was um, agricultura. Country. Uh -huh. I have a defense of a coffee store. Eh, pongamos entonces otra eh, de la exportación del café. Eh, Salvador. Salvador. Heavily depends upon coffee spot. Sería con el son aquí. Ajá, con el son. El Salvador. Heavily depends. Sí. Habili es ¿Qué significa Habili? Heavily. 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 Ajá, heavily. A lot. A lot. Mucho. Yes. Okay. Yes, because heavy is something that uh, the opposite is light. So heavy is something that mm -hmm. had a lot, has a lot of mass, right? Mm -hmm. Pesado, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, heavily, entonces, uh, is heavily, is, is heavily. Independent. Heavily depends. Uh, Pero donde is, is so, like is so heavily, mm. uh -huh. is so heavy, depends, Teacher. depends upon coffee. Yes, so. tell me. Eh, como, eh, how, eh, how do you, Pronouns, upon, se escribe. Which one? Eh, Pronouns. Se escribe, es que en un. Ajá, how, how do, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Es que dice heavily depend upon coffee export. Dependent. Upon, coffee. upon. Upon. Dependent upon. Upon oh. coffee exports. Oh. Upon coffee, or you can say exports, okay? Yeah. Heavily dependent upon coffee export. Is there a, a difference entre a uh, poner eh, uh, so uh, such uh, uh, describes a uh, mass a uh, more definition? Yes, it's more specific, uh, kind oh. of more specific, because okay. we use a noun after such. For example, here, if we say um, so heavily dependent, okay, or dependent, uh, we are talking just, just talking about the adjective. What is the adjective? Dependent, okay? Yeah. The adjective here is dependent. We can, we can say it's so heavily dependent, dependent, but on what? So it doesn't make sense, right? So we use such, right? Such, dependent upon coffee export. But in this case, we are not describing El Salvador. We are describing the article, okay? We are describing the article. Did you read the article already? ¿Ya leyeron el artículo completo? El completo solo es ese párrafo de arriba que es bastante amplio, largo. The long paragraph, the first one. Did you read it? 
Ya lo leyeron? Did you read it? Sí, 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 sí. Okay, what do you think about the article? What do you think? Yes. Is it a good article or is okay. not a good article? Okay, let's go back. Article. Article is this paragraph. Okay, article. El artículo. Article. Okay. Bueno, es una descripción del país. Okay, it's a description of your country, right? But what do you think about the article? Is it well made? The article? Está bien escrito? What do you think? Agricultural, this Yes, agricultural, será? Okay, chicos, chicos. Estamos hablando de cómo miran ustedes o cómo describirían este artículo. How would you describe this article? ¿Cómo lo calificarían? As a good article, interesting article, good facts, are they true? What do you think? Interesting uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, describe uh, uh, the El Salvador uh, a country small is okay. uh, it's true, it's true. Uh, the sleep popular uh, the seven Central America, uh, uh, I think it's true. Okay, then let's make some sentences describing this article. For example, if I, I'm going to say one sentence of what you said, because you said it is interesting, right? But can you emphasize this interesting? Or can you say that it's not very interesting? What do you think? This is short, this is short uh, description. Aha, uh -huh, that's a very good uh, adjective, correct. So you could say this is a short article, right? This is a short article. So you could say with emphasis, this article is so short. Okay, mm -hmm. this article is so short. Write down, write it down, write it down. The sentence, the, this article is so short. The article. Mm -hmm. What other adjective can you say about the article? Short. Short is one, okay? Now let's think about another description. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, a sentence, let's try to make a sentence, uh-huh. I think this is article. Uh, no, 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 no. Why? Why not? Just say it. The article is 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 a story uh, about the uh, coffee sport. Uh, mm -hmm. um, today, a sport is uh, is um, a little. Uh -huh. okay. okay, then we could say this article is historical, okay? This uh -huh. article is historical. That's uh -huh. a very good adjective, uh -huh. right? Historical. Because it's not the present, right? It's not the present about El Salvador. Maybe uh -huh. they, dis they are describing something that happened in a different uh, season, right, or in a different age in our or years, a period of time uh, ago. Okay, so we could say this article is historical. Okay. Now let's do the emphasis. 
It's so historical. Excellent. Very good. Historical. The article is so historical. Okay. Uh, the article is such historical uh, about um, uh, score the coffee. Okay, we will say uh, this article contains, right, or, or describes such historical facts about the coffee exports, okay? okay. Coffee export. Yes, but because coffee exports is the, um, the noun, right? And historical is the adjective. Yes, you could say that. You could say that. Now, continue, please. And I'm going to go to another room, okay? We are almost finishing Thank the activity, so get ready, please. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, people, <laughs> we are going to listen to your work, okay? Let's see, can you give me a sentence describing the article? Rita, please. What do you think about the article? This article speaks such specific information. Very good. Yes, nice. I like that one. Correct. So let's see. Can you give me a sentence describing this article, Francisco? If you can repeat the question. Okay, give me one sentence of those that you wrote describing the article. Okay. Um... Uh, the article is, uh, is the article have such information. The article has. Has. Uh -huh. The uh -huh. article has such, uh, such information. Uh, okay, such what information? The, because the article uh, speak uh, money, money, um, the money things. Okay, then we could say men, uh, such real information. Yes, okay. yes, real information. Excellent, very good. Now let's see Maria Fernanda, give us uh, how, how how do you feel this article is? Uh, this article is a such descriptive. Okay, this is such a descriptive article. Okay, this is such a descriptive article. Very good, very good. Was it interesting? Was it interesting? Was it interesting, Edward? Yes, it's very interesting. Inter okay, inter we can replace very for so, right? <laughs> yes, it is so interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. 
There you go. So let's see, did you like this article, Walter? What do you think about the article? Excuse me, teacher. What do you think about this article that you read before with your partner? An article. Yes. How can you describe yeah. it? An article. A speed and explicit information. The country of Salvador. Okay, good. So let's say that in a sentence using so and such. Can anyone help, Walter? Uh, okay. This article. Uh, there is a speed, this article, uh -huh. such a specific information. Okay, has, right? Has such a specific information. Or oh, what, what verb did you use? Did you say spoke? What did you say? Spore. Spore. Spore like. What do you want to say exactly with that word? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué quieres decir exactamente con esa palabra? Ah, no, también lo dije mala. Es no, no, está bien. Oh, okay, then. Ajá, uh -huh. speaks, let's say, because it's article, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, la oración quiere yes, please. que le diga que el artículo habla eh, de la... En inglés, en inglés, again. No, no, no. Ah, okay. There are uh, speak source a specific information the agriculture. Oh, okay. It's for, it's a very good sentence, but it's better if we use such, right? Such such a specific information yes. about agricultural activities, right? Okay, nice. Do you see, this yeah. is the use of so and such. What is the use? To emphasize, to give emphasis and what we are describing. We are embellishing or maybe we are saying the extremely bad about something, okay? Because we can use good adjectives and we could say bad adjectives too, okay? It's not only good adjectives, okay. you can use bad ad adjectives. Let me show you. Oh, it, we have only two minutes. Uh, let's go to our manuals. Okay, let's go to our manuals. And in our manuals, we are going to find, we are going to find, just give me one moment. Let me get there. Thank you. And there we are. Okay, here we are. Let's share this. And now we have it there. Okay. We have what we saw yesterday. Do you remember? It is so necessary for the company, for example, right? It is so necessary. Necessary is the adjective. Next one. It is so important to check the reports. The projects were so well made. Our ideas were so imaginative. Okay. Imaginative. So now let's see, here we did this yesterday, we did this activity yesterday, but I want you to check the difference. Here we use only an adjective, but here we use an adjective plus a noun, okay? If we don't have a noun, then we can't use such. We use so, correct? There we are. Okay. Okay. There we are. Okay, guys. What did we learn today? What did we learn today? We learned to write sentences using adjectives to describe 
persons, things. We didn't describe any animal. Can you give me an example describing an animal? What about your dog? What about your dog? What can you say about your dog? Emphasizing something good. My dog. Can't hear you. My turtle, my cup. Uh -huh. Okay, my, my cup. <laughs> yes, correct. So what can you tell about your turtle? What can you say about your turtle? Emphasizing something interesting about the turtle? Can someone give me an example? Um, the turtle? Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, um, best, uh, best the dog. <laughs> my, my dog is little. Oh. Is little. Uh, my, my dog is so black. <laughs> oh, fluffy. Okay. Then we could say my dog is so fluffy and you love to uh, pet this dog, you know? So yes, it's a very good example. My pet is so fluffy. Thank you very much, Rosa. So we finished this class, everyone. And today's turn um, for Silvia, okay? Silvia is the one who can stay tonight. Are you staying with me, Silvia? Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, I, I will not able to stay with you tonight. Okay, then we have that turn available, that space available. Who wants this space for assessment tonight? Only one, please. Hey. Don't fight between you all. Hey, everybody is allowed to stay, okay? So don't worry, but only one, only one. <laughs> okay, don't hit your classmates. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nobody? You don't miss me, right? You don't miss me. <laughs> I'm asleep, I'm sure. I, I know, I know you're sleepy, you're tired. We are sleepy, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, no we problem. So but tired. if you have, if anyone has a question, you may stay, okay? I'm going to stay connected five more minutes. So um, time is over. So uh, let me change into Spanish, okay? Miren, chicos, necesitamos quedar en sintonía. Fíjense que yo tengo que pasar los reportes de sus calificaciones y hasta el momento hay varios que están en blanco sus calificaciones del de examen eh, intermedio. Yo voy a tener que pasar esos reportes, así que echémosle ganas, por favor, antes que nos cierren la oportunidad, ¿ok? Eh. El examen intermedio está a qué, a qué clase más Después o menos? de la sección 2, sería okay. la 14, creo yo. Creo ah. que es la 14, si, si no me equivoco. <ríe> es que bueno. esa parte, esa parte de las, de las eh, tareas, ¿ok? Pues, las ah. tareas son sección 1, sección 2, ah. o sea que se cuenta eh, homework 1, homework 2, de secciones y aparte se toma en cuenta la, la nota del examen intermedio ok, cuando ahorita finalizamos el, el viernes prácticamente va a estar finalizado el contenido, solo nos quedaría un contenido para el día 11, que sería el día en que hacemos todas las actividades finales, verdad, entonces el tema es bastante corto así que si ustedes pueden adelantar Con mucho gusto se les recibe su calificación, ¿verdad? Y todavía se les da oportunidad de rehacer la tarea. Si tuvieron alguna dificultad o algo no comprendieron, siempre lo pueden volver a realizar. La idea aquí es aprender, ¿verdad? No es poncharse a nadie. Así que, por favor, chicos, necesito que este día, a más tardar, estén todos ustedes con su calificación. 
Hay unos que están con calificación bien baja, ¿ok? La pueden mejorar, ¿ok? La pueden mejorar, la pueden rehacer para tener una mejor calificación y aprenden mejor, ¿ok? Entienden un poquito más. Cuando hagan las tareas de escribir oraciones, por favor, pongan mayúscula al inicio y punto al final. Si no, no les va a agarrar. Okay. Por, por un puntito, por una, Exacto. Coma, por una, una letrita, ya no le agarro. Ahí. Así es. Ajá. Entonces ya no, ya no lo procesa. Entonces necesitamos que por favor tengamos yo, ese cuidado. Yo tuve un problema mía, con, la, con la tilde. Con la tilde, es, es cierto. cierto. Hay que encontrarla. Ajá. Ajá. Este, solo una, una, una pregunta, va. por Ajá. lo menos yo en mi caso. Ya hice todo, o sea, usted dice, va a tener problemas, la he vuelto a rehacer, pero no hay algún método que usted no pueda decir, este, o vaya a procesar algo error en la computadora, porque yo ya hice el examen no? internet, yo creo que voy por, por, voy por, la, por la 18, por la tarea 18, creo que hasta allí he llegado, pero oh, yo estoy okay. seguro que allí voy, pero yo no sé si en el proceso, en verdad me lo ha reconocido hasta allí, me aparecen las calificaciones y todo. No hay como un método pero, donde pero, usted puede decir. Ah, pero ahora es no ah, sí, Exactamente. A eso ah. iba. Ajá. Hay una opción en donde usted puede ver su progreso. Ahí se pone y ahí mira usted lo que ha realizado y ahí va su calificación. ¿eh? Ahí va sus ah, calificaciones okay. y las puede ir viendo las que sí se han procesado. Así que no hay ningún problema ah. si lo puede ver. Busque ahí ah, donde no, dice no. progreso. Ajá, o progress. Eh, la otra cosa que necesito decirles es, por favor, no hagan la encuesta ahorita, no vayan a tomar esa, esa captura de pantalla todavía, porque si cometen un error, se procesa mal o ustedes pueden quedar reprobados. Entonces, mejor hagámoslo juntos para que no perdamos el, el, la línea verdad de, lo, de, de cada dato. Ustedes van a recibirlo por correo. Ese día necesito que todos se conecten con computadora, ¿ok? Y si es posible, y tienen así como ahorita, ¿verdad? Que tienen su celular a la par también porque es muy útil, porque uno puede estar viendo las dos. Este es un formulario muy delicado porque aquí cuenta, es parte de su eh, requerimiento para el siguiente módulo. Ok, esta, esta encuesta que se les va a realizar. Entonces, si usted no la hace correctamente y no se procesa, no pasa, ¿entienden? Entonces, hay que, hay que hacerlo bien, tranquilos, el día 11, lo vamos a hacer aquí, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Okay, teacher. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ah, eh, sí, algo que se me olvidaba decirles. Este, de administración me enviaron una nota también, un recordatorio, yo creo que ya se los mandaron a ustedes también, de que por favor busquen a, a personas, a su, a su persona de contacto de recursos humanos que lleva esta cuenta de, de su, su estudio de inglés en Insaform para recordarle que tiene hasta el 11 de mayo para entregar su documentación. Si esta persona no lo envía, usted va a quedar fuera. Entonces háganos el favor de estarle recordando, ¿verdad? A los que no lo han hecho. Los que lo han hecho, pues está bien. Yo no tengo la posibilidad de ver quién ya está y quién no está. Entonces, lo mejor es que su responsable, el corresponsal de su empresa, él sea el que le diga a usted, no tenga pena, ya lo envié, aquí está su inscripción, ¿verdad? Y ya su cupo está reservado, ya depende de usted que se saque buena nota y pase con el 80% de asistencia, el 80% de calificación, ¿ok? Ah, la otra cosa, ahorita probablemente no llegan al porcentaje algunos en asistencia, pero yo necesito como su teacher, acuérdense que uno no puede abogar si uno no mira el interés, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo necesito, así va, eh, Carlos Ernesto ha tenido varios problemas, algunos han tenido varios problemas, eh, María Fernanda en el lugar donde ella vive hay problemas de conectividad, entonces todas esas cuestiones es necesario que ustedes no dejen de asistir lo más que puedan, acuérdense que son 120 minutos de clase los que cuenta Insafor, entonces, 
si ustedes no cumplen por lo menos el requerimiento del 80%, pero se quedaron con un 1%, probablemente podamos abogar podamos abogar, pero es, no es seguro tampoco, ¿verdad? No les prometo yo que podemos hacer eso porque INSAFOR tiene sus requerimientos bien establecidos y hay que cumplirlos. Entonces, por favor, por favor, no dejen de conectarse, ¿ok? Bien, uh, nos quedamos hasta ahí. Entonces, ha sido un gusto esta clase y cualquier cosa estoy a la orden, ¿ok? Anytime. Bye bye, have a good night, bye. and let's meet us tomorrow. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Adios. See you tomorrow. Yo. <laughs> I <laughs> okay. Okay, goodbye, Fausto. Goodbye, Angeli. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>